Ah. Welcome to CP Time, the only show that's for the culture. Today, we're going to talk about Thanksgiving, the holiday where we gather our families to give thanks for our many blessings. It's also the holiday when your nephew comes home from college with a lot of new woke ideas. <laughs> I don't give a damn what you say, Theodore. I don't think dolphins should get to vote. They don't even have hands. Anyway, what many people don't know about Thanksgiving is that from the very beginning, black people have been involved in this American tradition. In fact, one of the first pilgrims who came to America was black. We don't know this man's name because the ship's records only describe him as a blackamoor, a term used to describe someone with dark skin from North Africa. In other words, blackamoor was the pilgrim's way of saying that black guy. <laughs> Back then, there were so few black people in America that everyone knew who you were talking about. Today, that would only work in Seattle. <laughs> now, food is another area of Thanksgiving where black people have made major contributions. Black people such as James Hemings, who trained as a chef in France, but unfortunately in America, he was one of Thomas Jefferson's slaves. James introduced the dish that we all know and love today, macaroni and cheese. Everyone knew about macaroni, but no one ever thought to throw cheese on top of it. <laughs> thanks to James Hemmings, we now know that anything tastes better if you just add cheese. Macaroni, potatoes, french fries, hamburgers, I add cheese to everything. My doctor says I got five years to live. <laughs> but it's gonna be a delicious five years. Finally, what would a Thanksgiving Day celebration be without football? A beautiful tradition that allows you to spend time with your family without having to actually talk to them. And even Thanksgiving football is a tradition that involves black people from the very beginning. In fact, the first NFL game played on Thanksgiving in 1920 featured Fritz Pollard, who led his team to victory. Even more impressive, Fritz went on to coach the team, fulfilling a dream that every black man has had for hundreds of years, yelling at white people and getting paid for it. <laughs> Interesting fact, my great uncle Bebo was also a part of that historic Thanksgiving game. He was the goalpost. <laughs> it's good, Bebo. Well, that's our Thanksgiving episode. And from all of us at CP Time, happy holidays to you and yours. And remember, before the culture, ooh, I wonder if this will taste good with cheese on it. Mm -mm. Four more years. Mm -hmm.